Now, the, the Fed's balance sheet from the time they began reducing it through their quantitative tightening measures, they began t uh, reducing the balance sheet in, in April of 2022. Now, it went down uh, about six or seven hundred billion dollars between April or May of 2022 and March of 2023. What happened in March is we had the regional banking turmoil, at which point the Fed expanded its balance sheet, uh, you know, what, which we would generally call quantitative easing. Uh, by about uh, $350 billion. So it had come down by $700 billion. They expanded it back by $350 billion. So this was a huge liquidity event in the U.S. that not a lot of people were focused on. Why? Because they're focused on the rate hike cycle. And so we think that this, this, this liquidity helped drive equities higher through uh, April and May.